Hey, what's up guys? Chip Walters here, and I got a request from Jeremiah Micaias. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but he's been trying for a long time, evidently, to try and figure out how to create this black and gold type renders or animations. And let's see, this is kind of what they look like. I'll let you take a look here. These are just showing some examples of this gold kind of a text treatment along with a black text treatment. Let's see if this is another one here. Well, you can see they're pretty straightforward. They just have a lot of different normal maps applied to the size of their gold treatment. So I thought I would help him out. He said that he's been asking for help, trying to asking people to show him how to do this. So what I did was uh, I went online, I searched for black and white images that had the right permissions, and I came up with these two right here. And I'll use the ground for this, and I'll use this for the gold. And so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, here we are with our default plane. And if I take a look at that, it's using my default texture. So I'm going to pull this up, select this, delete that texture, create a new one with Node Wrangler installed, which you can get in Preferences. Type in node. You'll see Node Wrangler is installed. Turn it on. Control T. That gives us a texture block. Now we don't have those textures. What I want to do is I'm going to open up that one that we were looking at. This one here. So there's our texture. I'm going to set that up as a object texture. That looks about pretty good. So once I've got that done, I'll set this as a roughness map and I'll change the base color to pure black and you can see that we have this nice roughness map although I think I want to invert that so I'll add a color ramp right in here and just say flip color ramp I'm going to turn this into a non-color object okay there we go so now it's a little shinier there and then I'll take this black color, I'm going to move it up so it's not quite so shiny. Something like that. And next, I'll shift a vector bump. And I'm going to take this same and put it into the height mode, put the normal into the normal mode. And then I need to move this to something like 0 0.1, 0 0.1. And now I have a pretty good surface there, as you can tell. Now, the last thing I might do here just to add a little bit of realism to it is I'll add a texture musgrave right in here and I'll set it like this and I'll do a mix RGB between these so I can take the color from here into here and the factor from here into here and then I'm going to just click on here with the control shift key so I can see what this looks like and I can adjust the scale of the Musgrave here. Okay, so here we have something that I think looks pretty good. And uh, let's go back to this. That's our mix. And then let's take and let's put this directly into our roughness. Now let's put in this fact. Use this into the roughness. There we go. And then I can just adjust this clamp so I get just a tiny bit of differentiation across that surface. And if I look at my EV settings, that's what I have. I have a couple area lights in here. So that's going to be our surface. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some text. So that's fairly easy to do. Shift A and we'll go down to text. And I'm going to tab into this. And I'm just going to spell out the word style. Tab back out. We'll go into text and we say we want our horizontal centered and our vertical center. So it's right in the middle, which looks pretty good. In here, the text, we have a couple things we can do. We can, in the geometry, we can extrude it. So let's extrude it up a little bit. Let's say about that much. I'm going to turn off this plane for now. Okay, and let's go back into this mode. And let's extrude it up to 0.1. So that'll be good. So there's our, 
our text extruded. Now the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a copy of this. So Shift D, return, and this one I'm going to offset at 0.1. So it makes it, oops, not quite, 0.01 maybe. There, just a little bit. And I will extrude it up just a little more. Something like this. And then under the fill mode, I'm going to say none. So I have it like that. And then under bevel, I'm going to choose a very small bevel here, something like this. And we have that. And then I'm going to take that. For, I'll take the first one and shift D it again. And right click to leave it in the same place. And then with this one, I'm going to offset it even a little more, something like that. And I'm going to extrude it a lot less. Hold the shift key down when I do this. And I'll add a bevel to this as well. Okay. And I'll move it down. And then I will Alt D, which is making an instance duplication. Alt D Z to here. And then Shift R to re replicate that. And so I'll select all three of them and I'll kind of drop them down and center them on the on the surface. So there's our, that's our object. It looks pretty good. Let's go ahead now and texture it. Well, we know the top of it. We want that to be our, our black material. Let's call this black. We'll do that. And then this other one, we're going to make gold. So I'm going to create a gold material. And the way I'm going to do that is come in here with the base color and I'm going to choose a color somewhere down in here, not very saturated, something like that right there. I'll turn the metallic all the way to one. And I'll turn the roughness just to something like 0.23, something. And you can see that's our gold material. And I'll call this gold. And then I'm going to select this. And I'm going to call this one. I'm going to assign gold to it. But then I'm going to click this button right here, which is going to create a new material. I'm going to say gold with pattern. And then like we did before, control T this and G to move it over. And let's open up our pattern right here. And now we want to make sure again, we're in object mode, and in here, instead of flat, we want this to be box. Let's, let's turn the uh, roughness completely up. So you can see there's the black and white pattern right there. So you can kind of see how that's working. So that's really large. So we'll go down here, and whoops, if I drag straight down, I can sometimes get this to work. There we go. So I'll make this, let's make it 12. So it's all 12. There it is. So that looks pretty good. Now, that is going to be a bump map. And we'll shift A and we'll go for vector bump. We'll put that here, move these over and I'll take this color and I'll drop it right into the height here. And then I'll take this normal and I'll put it right into the normal right here. And there you see how that looks. And I'm going to take this off and now we can start to see how that fares. It's really high. So I'm going to move this down again to 0.1. Point one, and now I've got a much better bump. And then when I'm done here, once I have that all set up, I'm going to go back in and turn my roughness back down to something like this. So now I've got that material set up. Let's go back and let's take my plane and let's turn it on and hit the five key and numpad and the one zoom up. And you can see we'll just drop it down. And then I can come in here and let's talk about lighting here in a second. But before we do that, I want to set up a quick render. So how do I do that? Well, I've already got a camera in my scene. And so if I hold the control alt and the numpad zero, I'll get a render set up. I can scroll my mouse wheel to get it up. And then I'll go over here in the numpad under view 
and it says lock camera to view so I click on that now I can just move this around okay so that looks pretty good let's go ahead and let's save this head F12 and there is our image so the next thing we need to do is we need to set up the lighting so let's take a look at that the way I set up my lighting is I'll come up here I always grab it and grab a new window here and turn these off if, I, if I'm over here I hit the home key and the home key will make that full screen and then I'll turn this off so I can kind of see what I'm doing and then over here I'll go I won't be in wireframe and then I'll say view toggle quad view I know control alt Q but I'll come over here and in this particular case I'm probably going to want to make it a little bit darker so what I want to do is first come over to my world and I am going to create a new world and the background is going to give me make it completely black I've lost uh, some of the reflections so I can go back in here and control T So the problem is, is when I used Node Wrangler, I was clicking on here and I got this image texture, which is the wrong map. I need to really just delete these and click here and control T. And now I'll get my environment texture and now I can op open up my Blender Studio texture and you'll see I get it, which looks really good. So I'm... Now, one of the problems I have here is I've got this background that shows through. So how do I fix that? Well, move this up and I'll take this and shift D and drag it down here. With Node Wrangler, I can hold the control shift and right click and drag between these two. and It'll give me a mix shader, which is really what I want. We have these two being mixed. And if I hold shift A and I search for light path, I'll get this and I want to basically hook up is a camera ray to the fat here and when I do that I'm gonna get the background of whatever is in here the color for what's in here but I'm gonna use the lighting information from here so let's make this one so now we have this set up nicely reflections lastly all we need to do is let's turn on one of the lights up here and select it and you'll see that here it is Here's our camera. Let's go look at the top view here. So our camera's here and our light is over here and it is an area camera, or I'm sorry, it is an area light. And we'll just move it down a little bit closer to the object. Okay. And then I can grab the other light and turn it on and select it. And we'll do the same thing. Move it down a little closer rotate it a little bit and now you can see we're getting some nice lighting effects they're a little bit too bright so I'll go into the light and say instead of a thousand watts I'm gonna say 250 on that one and this one under the same 250 so now we have it so let's hit save and we'll do a quick render and let's take a look at what we have so that's what we have right now it's a little choppy there's a couple few more things I can add to this and to fix it up um, let's go in and go into our sampling for our render I'll make it a little higher at 256 I'll turn on the bloom and I'll make the intensity 0.2 and the threshold 0.7 and lastly I'll go into my color management and I want it to be filmic and I'll say medium contrast now let's just stay let's stick with medium high contrast here have bloom on ambient occlusion on screen surface reflections are on uh, and let's go into our shadows and make sure that we turn these all the way up and I'll use soft shadows as well so now there is our render and as we see
we have some nice looking details as we zoom in on it as well so if this looks a little too harsh we might go back into this gold metal here into uh, that and let's dial this back to 0.5 on that there you go and that's really it that's that's basically setting up all you gotta do now is uh, do your animations if you want to turn on you know if you want to turn on motion blur you go into the camera and we'll say depth of, I'm sorry uh, depth of field you go into the camera and we will zoom in the way I like to typically do this is I'll go into my camera properties and I will turn the f-stop all the way down and I'll adjust the focus distance until I get where I want I know I want to focus on which will probably be the front right here and now I'll put the f-stop back up to 5.6 so now when I hit F12 you'll see that the final render is focused here it's not as much focused out here or back in there so and the other thing after you've done a few renders what you might try is playing with this filmic and maybe we'll go up to something like high contrast or even very high contrast and see what that looks like yeah looks all right as well so hope this is helpful and uh see you guys online <laughs>